what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to share some more gameplay with you guys using emma frost a character that i've been using pretty much non-stop since the drop of update 3.9 and a character that i've been having a good bit of fun with she's actually really easy to keep alive and i just love watching her do her thing the only thing i don't like about the character is besides the character acquisition portion it's just her dps it's just not to my liking and not what i expected for someone like emma frost however since the last time you guys saw my emma frost i did give her an obelisk and that kind of corrected the issue her dps is actually in a respectable place right now so i wanted to share some more gameplay with her in case any of you guys are currently on the fence my opinion to those of you guys who are going to take her all the way to tier two is if you're not a big spender or a whale just take your time guys get emma frost for the 2500 crystals she's definitely worth it she can do pretty much everything at tier one so there's no reason for you to rush you're gonna rush and you're gonna spend a lot of crystals because it's gonna take anywhere from five to seven thousand crystals total to get her to tier two and then when infinity wars drop if you're not a big spender you're gonna be high and dry when we get like freaking six or seven premium uniforms and potential premium content as well so don't do that to yourself just get her because she's definitely worth 2500 crystals she's more than worth it okay if valkyrie at tier one is 2500 crystals like that's without her tier 2 passive and valkyrie is not that great of a character yes she's very very good don't get it twisted but emma is better than valkyrie and they both cost 2500 crystals valkyrie only really becomes worth it once you get her to tier two and you get that amazing tier two passive but emma is definitely worth it at tier one because of the mind control because of how tanky she is how many iframes she has very very good character so for today i wanted to show you guys a little bit more of her now that i have her in a different place with a damage proc obelisk that can make it so that she deals potentially more damage because that's the only issue that i really and truly had with emma frost so i'm going to show you guys the build details for any of you guys who didn't see it and then we'll jump into some gameplay for today simply because i want to show you guys the dps portion of the character if you guys didn't see my initial review emma is very very easy to use very easy to keep alive but for today i'm just gonna face tank as much as possible with her because i want to show you guys a couple speed runs i want to show you guys how she performs on a late entry mode and i also want to show you guys how she performs against apocalypse all of this at tier one with 15 gears okay so very basic build anyone can pick up the character and have her looking like this literally in i would say an hour or two okay so as you guys can see right here 117 for attack speed 53 percent for critical rate 151 for critical damage 41 percent for ignore defense and 49 percent for reduced cooldown duration as for the gears like i said everything is at 15 last one is rolled for critical rate but if you want more skill cooldown go ahead and do that she gets some natively so all you got to do is get this to 16 once you get yourself some bios from the shop the rotation i always use with emma is just three into five into four into two into one then right back into three then right back into five very very easy smooth rotation but for today i'm gonna play very aggressive because i want to see what the clear times look like with her so as you can see right here power of angry hulk for the iso set definitely go offensive with her and i decided to give her this this is potentially one of the best obelisk that you could potentially give her in my opinion okay immunity to smear effect is actually going to make it so that did i say smear i swear to god i just said smear <laughs> i said i said smear guys wow anyways immunity to smear effect english anyways is actually going to protect her against other emma frosts if you put her in a pvp setting because the five skill has a sneer portion at the beginning of the skill before the mind control actually kicks in okay so that's why i chose this obelisk right here then you give her some more mind damage to bump up the dps of all of her skills because all of them are mind damage and that's actually almost close to what she gets for her tier 2 passive as you can see right here her tier 2 passive gives her 40 this is giving her 30 so it's pretty damn close to being her tier 2 passive as you can see right here a 180 damage proc very very good obelisk for her so for this one let's go ahead and jump into shadowland and i'm on floor 20 right now and i'll put her up against 
this entry mode right here because of the fact that you have Volstag, Hogan, and Fanzo right here and they have a lot of mobs and I want to show you guys what happens when you mind control them and use their own summons to actually attack them. It's freaking hilarious guys. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so when you're kicking your summons in the that's hilarious guys. Listen, die bro. Die bro. Kneel before the queen. The white queen, guys. So this one right here is for those of you guys who are still on the fence about Emma Frost. As you can see, if you have a damage proc on the character, it definitely addresses the freaking DPS issue that I personally had when I didn't have an obelisk. So for those of you guys who are thinking you want to give her something with invincibility, you might not want to do that if you want to get top tier level DPS out of her. But that's it for this one, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts and experiences are with Emma Frost. Until next time, boys, peace out.